Hello, Lady Liberty fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to talk about system integrity protection, uh, about the final layer of security that we're going to talk about when it comes to acquisitions on an Apple system. System integrity protection is set up so that uh, different levels of trust cannot be changed while the computer is on. It also allows for certain system and kernel calls to not be able to be uh, changed, engaged, disabled uh, while the machine is on. And it's, you know, it, it's trying to protect from malware changing your system. Now, it used to be that in older Mac OSs, you could enable and disable system integrity protection from the terminal while the machine was on. But you can't do that with the newer operating systems. Let's go and have a look at this. If we come to a system that is on, if system integrity protection is enabled, which it is by default, then you're not going to be able to perform an acquisition until it's turned off. So with the machine on, you would open a terminal window and you're going to check the status of this. So you are going to uh, go into system integrity or into the terminal window and you're going to type CSR util status. Press enter and it will tell you whether it's enabled or disabled. If it's disabled, then that's great. But look at what happens on the newer systems if you try to change that status while the machine is on. The way that we would do this is csrutil and I want to enable it. The error message I get is csrutil failed to modify system integrity configuration. This needs to be executed from the recovery operating system. Now maybe you think well it only does that when you're trying to enable it let's see what happens when we try to dis it now it's already disabled right but it tells you again we can't modify it from here we have to go to recovery mode so in recovery mode once we enter recovery mode based on the instructions in a previous episode we open a terminal window once we open the terminal window in recovery mode we're going to type csr util space disable we press enter and we see that it tells us it has successfully disabled system integrity protection. What problem does this cause? Well, if the machine was on when you got to it, you can't acquire RAM until this is off. And you can't turn this off until you must turn the machine off. And if you turn the machine off, there's no more RAM to get. Do you see the conundrum? But these are the problems we face with Apple forensics. In the meantime and in between time. That's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.